I suppose my teenage dream, that one day there'll be Nigerian food at every corner. We're not quite there yet, but at least I'm helping that revolution. Hi, I'm Inki, also known as Executive Mama Put of Pitanga London, a Nigerian restaurant in West London. I was born in Nigeria, I was born towards the end of the Nigerian Civil War. We moved to England when I was 15, and apart from the culture shock of the cold and strange things, some strange things that English people used to do then, I was quite surprised to see the number of Indian and Chinese restaurants. And I kept wondering, why isn't Nigerian food as popular as these ones? I did start off studying computing. I actually worked as a management consultant for many years. At some point I left, so I started doing pop-ups at home as, as a way to test my ideas out on mostly friends, but some strangers too. I guess I enjoyed it so much that I thought to myself, you know, maybe I can take this thing further and open a restaurant and here I am. Funny enough, it was the birth of social media. And I happened to put a picture of a plate of food, which was not Nigerian at all. It was chorizo and squid. And you know, I had so much good feedback and people were saying, why don't you put it together in a book? Just make a picture book, you know, just do something with these pictures. So I started writing this, this encyclopedia of Nigerian food, as my daughter called it. Having done a lot of research, I found that a lot of Nigerians don't even know the great variety of food that we have. Nigeria is a huge place. We have over 350 ethnic groups, but almost every Nigerian restaurant will serve more or less the same thing. If I went to a Nigerian party here, I can tell you how the food would literally start. You know, everybody lines their food up the same way. So I wanted something different. I wanted Nigerian food to look beautiful. Jollof is basically a one-pot rice dish. You start off with, you blend your tomatoes, onions, red peppers if you want, chili if you want, blend it, boil that dry, and then you can put a bit of oil so it fries for a bit. You'll know when it's ready because the smell changes. When your mouth starts to water, then it's ready. We don't really have recipes in Nigeria. You, you know, they say, you know when the food's ready, when the spirits say, yes, my child, now take it off, take it off the fire. And then you add some water, you add salt. Um, some people might put garlic, ginger. Um, I put a bit of thyme, a bit of bay leaf, a little bit of curry powder, just a little bit. And then you just cover it and let it steam till the rice is coated in that sauce. It's nice, waiting to be eaten. The reason why I chose those two dishes, jollof rice and suya, it's not really something that you would normally put together. Jollof rice is so popular in Nigeria. It's probably one of the few things that binds us together as a nation, jollof rice and football. And then suya, which is um, it's a street food. In almost every corner in the evening, suddenly you smell suya being barbecued. So I thought it'd be nice to put both together and it works really well. It's actually one of our best sellers. So in, in Nigeria, food is very, very important. It's, if your friend pops into your, the, your, your house, it'd be considered rude if you didn't offer them food. So it's our way of welcoming you. It's our way of saying, I love you. You know, have you eaten? Even if you say you're not hungry, force the food on you, right? <laughs> force feeders. I like to think of my kitchen at home as my lab. I love to sit there. I have, I have a study at home, but I just sit at my dining table, it's, you know, on my laptop, sometimes with my um, sketch pad. I might draw out some ideas, you know, color. That's when I tend to try and think about things that we could do better. So either improve on what we've done or what we're doing, or try and come up with new dishes or just new combinations, because it's not that everything I'm doing is a genius never seen before, but sometimes I just put things together that maybe people haven't thought Oh, that could go together. London. I love London. I mean, it's been my home for over 30 years. I think one of the main things I like about London is just how cosmopolitan it is. I can eat the world within five miles radius of my house. I just love that feeling of that the world is, has come to me on my doorstep. Pitanga is all about 
me, my nostalgia, which makes me sound like I have a huge ego, but it's not really that at all. I had such a happy childhood in Nigeria. Um, I, I wanted to recreate that here. So even if you go back to the name, Pitanga, Pitanga is a cherry that was everywhere. It was like a hedging plant. And you know, we're walking home from school. Oh, look, there's a cherry there. You pick it, look around, put it in your mouth, hope nobody saw you and they'll tell your mum. So the nostalgia is partially my nostalgia, but there are people who have that same nostalgia as me. Um, it always makes me really happy when I read in reviews. Um, I had a man uh, who came, but I remember him saying, that suit just tasted like my grandmother made it. It's not even his mother, his grandmother. And that's what I want. I want people to create happy memories while they're here, or for it to bring back happy memories through the food. <laughs> 